Hi, my name is Josh Branchad. Welcome to PGCast. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how we can use the CI text module for working with case and sensitive data. In previous episodes, we explored the issues presented by case and sensitive data. We learned how to efficiently query our tables and prevent duplicate records. But there's an easier way, the CI text module. Let's look at how to use it. But first, here's the table we left off with. In this table, we use the varcar data type for our email column and added a uniqueness constraint for the lowercase function run against our email field. In our new table, we will be replacing it with the CI text data type provided by the CI text module. This data type works just like the text data type, but during comparisons, it internally calls the lower function. Like I said, CI text is going to make things much easier. To get started, we can create our CI text extension. Then we can create our users table. It'll look much like the one we've used before. And the thing to note here is that our email field will have a CI text type rather than something like varcar or text. This is provided by the CI text extension. And now we can take a quick look at the description of our table. And we can see that we have a uniqueness constraint on the email field, which is of type CI text. Let's insert an initial record so that we have something to work with. Pay attention closely to the casing here. Now we can see the case insensitive comparison in action by querying for the record with different casing than what we inserted with. You'll notice when we inserted, we used all caps on the first part of the email, but when we selected, we used all lowercase. And yet it was still able to retrieve our email and it preserved the casing from when we inserted. And now, what would happen if we were to insert a duplicate record with different casing? Perhaps we use just a capital on the first letter. As expected, we get an error. The insertion was prevented by our uniqueness constraint. Lastly, let's see how the performance compares. So we can insert some additional records to our new users table. I've got a little code here prepared for that. We're now up to 10,000 records in our table. Now we can look at the explain analyze output for queries on each of these tables. First looking at our old table. And you can see that Postgres was able to efficiently query the table because of our index. Nevertheless, we still had to wrap both sides of the comparison in the lower function. If we were are to query our new table, we don't have to use the lower function on either side. And we still get equivalent performance. Now you may be wondering, where does the I like operator fit into all of this? Well, we'll be looking at that in a following episode. Until then, may your data be consistent and your queries performant.